What's going on? I'm Allison. For today's video, we're doing an upper body strength routine. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap that subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. All you need is a pair of moderate or heavy dumbbells and a mat. We'll be completing three blocks with three moves each for two rounds. Round one will be 45 seconds on and a 20 second rest. Round two will be 30 seconds on and a 15 second rest. To wrap up this workout, we'll do a quick core session. A warm up and cool down is also included. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we jump into the strength routine, let's warm it up. Have those feet down on the ground, about shoulder width apart, and give me some shoulder rolls backwards, up to the ears and down. Keep the elbows soft, wiggle out those fingers. Good, and then go forward a few times, lift up and around, very nice. Deep breaths, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Do it one more time, go backwards a few times, up to the ears and lower. And we'll take it forward, very, very good. Awesome, and then just shake it out, open and close a few times. Very nice. All right, give yourself a little bit of room for your arms. We're gonna be swimming in the air. So think alternate, one arm forward and then the other. And you can add a little trunk twist as well and get that core fired up. Very nice, and three, two, one, let's reverse. So a little brain switch there. <laughs> Good, just gonna let your body flow with it. Whew. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out again. Hands on the hips, warming up that back and the core uh, area a little bit more. Go ahead and drop down, big trunk circles, come up and around. Keeping that soft bend in the knees. Awesome. And then let's reverse, other direction. Inhale, exhale. Making sure not to overextend on the back. And one more. Very, very good. All right, quick light stretches, one them across, pull it in. And then open and switch other side. Beautiful, shake it out, interlock the fingers behind, open up that chest and heart and give me a nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, let it out. Release, interlock in front, round the upper back, dip the chin. Inhale, big reach up to the ceiling and let it all go, good job. Grab your weights, grab some water, and I'll meet you back here. Go ahead and grab your moderate weights. We're kicking off the first move of block one with a set of Arnold shoulder presses. Remember, we're gonna do the first round for 45 seconds and then the second round for 30 seconds. We'll have those feet about shoulder width apart, palms face in, elbows tight. Now, keeping the core engaged, pull the belly button to spine, take a big breath, inhale through the nose, on the exhale through the mouth, exhale, rotate, arms fully extend, and then come back in, elbows tight to the rib cage. Exhale, extend up, and then inhale down. If you ever need to, feel free to alternate your arms instead. Okay, we're starting in five seconds. Get the position, three, two, one, let's do it. Exhale, inhale. This is a nice one to start with those shoulders. Good, breathe, press and lower. At any time, if you start to get fatigued or lose form, drop down to the single arms, that's totally fine. And then if you'd like to, you can always head back to those doubles. <sighs> Exhale, inhale. Whew. Good job. All right, you have about 15 seconds left here. And give you a heads up, on the next move, I'm gonna grab one of my heavier weights. But if you don't have heavier weights, go ahead and double up your lighter or medium ones. Beautiful, last five. Four, three, two, and one. Good, either double these up, crisscross them, or switch it off for one heavier. We're doing single arm rows. Opposite foot forward, hand on top, palm face in, shoulder back, drive it up, head of the dumbbell towards the underarm, and then fully extend, making sure not to let that shoulder round forward. All right, pick a side, ready? Let's start. Exhale, inhale. Nice full range of motion. Notice I'm kind of naturally adding a little twist on top. You don't have to do that. You can take it straight up and down. And when you're pulling up, drive that elbow back and in so you're squeezing that shoulder blade. And like I mentioned earlier, we're not letting that shoulder fall forward. Keep the shoulder retracted. Breathe. Very nice. 
So the move after this is gonna be the other side. Same exact thing. Whew, this side will get to rest. 10 seconds. Keep it up, keep it up. Those back muscles, they're big and strong, so they can definitely take on the heavier weight. Three, two, and stop. Good, shake out that arm, place the weight in the other hand. Other foot forward, other leg back. I should have about 11 seconds, so you can walk it out if you need to. But same thing as we did the first side. Getting a nice full range of motion, not letting that shoulder drop. Ready? Let's do it. Lift and down. Exhale, inhale. So this is with a little rotation, or you can keep it straight up and down. Drive the elbow back and into the sides. Squeeze. Whew. Lift, lower. Everything today is at your own pace. We're not gonna go for a certain amount of reps. If you need to take breaks, take them. Whew. And lift, down, all the way up. Really squeeze that top end. Excellent job. 12 seconds left. All right, coming up, we're gonna switch back to your light or moderate weights. One more little shoulder blast. Three, two, one. Carefully set it down. Grab your lighter weights. All right, we're gonna do alternating front and side raises. Feet shoulder width apart, shoulders back, palms in, elbows soft. Take it to the front, turn the palms facing each other. Take it to the side. We're not lifting higher than shoulder level for each move. All right, so when you're ready, palms in. Let's go. Up and side, smooth and controlled. Exhale, inhale. Keep those hips back. Don't let those hips tuck under. You want a nice supportive base, core engaged. Get fatigued, just like always, you can go to alternating arms, front and then side. Good. Keep it up. If you find like your lower back is getting thrown into it, either do alternating arms or bend those knees just a little bit more for some more base support. You get a little bit longer break after this, but hang in there. <laughs> Woo. Awesome work. Three, two, one, and stop. Nice work. Grab a drink and I'll meet you back here for round number two. Welcome back. We're on to round two of block number one. Kicking it off is a set of Arnold shoulder presses. Grabbing your moderate weights, remember we're gonna start with the palms facing in, elbows tight, feet about shoulder width apart. Exhale, fully extend, rotating those palms away, and then bringing it down. You can do double arms or do alternating arms instead. All right, we're starting in five seconds. So get in position, rack up the weights, and let's go ahead and start. Exhale, lift, inhale down. Good, breathe. Keeping those hips back, core is engaged. Nice full range of motion with the, those arms, but still making sure not to lock up the elbows. There's your modification. Alternating arms, you can throw that in anytime you need to. Yes. Come on, we're almost there. Remember, it's only 30 seconds. Last four, three, two, and stop. 15 second rest, grab your one heavier weight, or stick with your um, double up your moderate. We have those single arm rows. So decide which arm is gonna go first. Opposite foot forward, hand on top, palm in. And let's do it, 30 seconds. Rotate and down or keep it straight up and down. Whatever your preference is. Drive that elbow back and in. Squeeze the shoulder blade together, yes. Woo, you're halfway through already. You're doing amazing. The second round is gonna go a lot quicker. It's gonna feel quicker than your first set. Perfect. Last three, two, one. 15 seconds, shake it out. Keep that same weight, whatever you use for the first side, for your second side. Opposite foot forward, other leg back. Palm in, retract the shoulder, hand on top of the quad. Ready? Let's start. Up and down. Keep it up, strong all the way to the end. Drive and lift, yes. Even though we can't see them, we wanna have a strong back. Whew. Good, breathe. Up on deck, we're gonna switch it out and go back to our moderate weights. Those front and side raises are coming up. 
Three, two, one, and stop. Quickly transition, set that weight down. Grab those lighter weights. Remember, it's going to be a front and a side raise, double or single arms. This is gonna be your last move in block one. All right, let's go. Up and side. Woo. Exhale, inhale. I know those shoulders, they are feeling pretty toasty right now, but you've got this. Take breaks if you need to, do the alternating arms, whatever you need to do. Breathe. Woo. You are doing amazing, almost there. Last five. Three, two, one, and stop. Good job. Round two is done. We're on to block number two. Kicking off your first move in block number two. Grab your moderate weights. We're doing alternating French door flies and a rotator cuff movement. All right, so arms come up, goal post position. We're gonna bring one arm in, other arm in. Hold it here, palms face down. Bring it back up from that rotator cuff. The upper arms stay pretty parallel to the ground the entire time. So really keep that rotation in the shoulders and remember to breathe. All right, we're gonna start in about five seconds to get those feet shoulder width apart. Arms up, abs in, and let's start. Single, single, both arms for that double rotator cuff. Single, good. Now, even though it seems ironic, try not to tense those shoulders up. Even though you are working that shoulder and chest, Keep the shoulders relaxed. Whew. If this ever gets to be too much, stick with the single arms for the rotator cuff as well. So you can do one arm and then the other arm. And then your next alternative is to do this movement without holding weights. That is gonna be pretty challenging as well. You're doing awesome, 10 more seconds. Coming up, we are gonna keep these same weights. In five, four, three, two, and stop, great job. For our next exercise, we're combining a biceps curl, crisscross, boom, center up, and then lower, and then alternate the arm on cross for that crisscross every time. Okay, ready? Retract the shoulders, set those feet down, palms face away, elbows tight. Let's do it. Up, crisscross, in, down. Lift, press. Elbows are tight when we do that biceps curl, and you're getting that nice full extension about chest level with the crisscross. <sighs> Breathe. Modification, one arm at a time. Up, out, one arm rest down. Lift, good. Whew, keep going, keep going. Breathe. These definitely pack a punch <laughs> after a few. You're doing amazing. Keep it up, keep it up. 10 seconds. We are hanging on to these weights for your third movement. And let's stop, very good. All right, shake it out, put those weights down if you need to. Next move, upright row, arm extensions in and down. This one is a kicker, especially after those last two. So if you need to, do your alternating arms instead. All right, if you don't have it in your hands, pick up your weights, palms in, shoulders back, abs tight, and let's do it. Up, extend, in, down. Breathe, Whew. lift, press, fantastic. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Full extension, really squeeze, press out. Modification, here's that single arm, one arm rest down. Yes, making sure not to lock out those elbows on the extension. And just like before, hips are back, weight evenly distributed between both feet. Come on, you're almost done. You get a little bit longer break before our next round. Yes. Three, two, one, and stop. Excellent job. Grab a drink and I'll be, meet you back here for round number two. Let's get ready for round number two of block two. Kicking off, we're doing those alternating arm French doors with the rotator cuff. Go with those lighter, moderate weights. Have those feet shoulder width apart, arms up. Remember, we're gonna bring one arm in, other arm in, and then rotator cuff, palms face down, open up. 
Upper arm stays parallel to the ground. If you need to, you can definitely do alternating arms for the rotator cuff or even drop in weight or no weights for this move. Okay, we're starting in three seconds. Bring it up. Let's start. In, in, rotate palms down. It's just 30 seconds. It goes super quick. Then 15 second rest in between where we transition. Woo. Remember for this block, we're sticking with our moderate weights for all three exercises. Good job. In, in, rotate. Almost there. Three, two, one, and stop. Beautiful, bring it in. Up on deck, biceps curl, crisscross. Bring it in and down. Alternating that crisscross with the arm on top every time. All right, we're starting already in three, two, one. I know, those break times when it's 15 seconds, they don't feel like anything at all. Just enough to do a quick catch your breath and think about what the next move is. Sometimes you have to just do and not think <laughs> and just get through it. Whew. Up, press, full extension, elbows in on those curls. You've got it. Come on, almost there. Hanging on to these weights for your third move in three, two, one. Good. All right, shake it out, shake it out. Upright rows, extensions, in and down, double or single arms. Third move for your block number two. And then we are done with this. All right, shoulders back, palms in. Let's go. Up, extend, in, down. Keep that core tight. Elbows up. Modify if you need to. One arm rests, one arm goes out. You always have options. Keep it up, keep it up, breathe. Woo, awesome work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Grab a drink, grab your mat, and bring your weights down there, and I'll meet you for block number three. For block number three, we're down on the ground and we're gonna use your heavy weights for all three moves. Starting off, we're doing a line down, alternating chest fly and narrow grip press. So when you're ready, lie all the way down on your back, weights in hand, extend those arms up, palms in. We're gonna open up for that chest fly, bending the elbows, exhale, extend, and then bring it down. Arms are parallel, elbows tight, drive up to the ceiling. Inhale down, exhale up. And just like always, you can do alternating arms if you need to. All right, take a breath. Get ready, arms up, and let's start. So fly, lift, narrow press. Inhale. So even though we're down on the ground, you still wanna keep those abs tight, so pull the belly button to spine. Be mindful of your breathing. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth when you press the weights up. Making sure there's no space in your lower back. Whew. If you'd like to make this a little more challenging, this will sneak in some more core. Your legs can be up a tabletop position as well. That's totally up to you. I'm gonna keep my feet down for today. Good. Inhale, exhale. Those weights definitely get heavy pretty quickly, so modify if you need to. And let's stop. Very good. Carefully come up, flip it around. I'm just gonna use the weights to keep my hands on it and wrist straight. We're doing a set of uh, tricep push-ups. Keeping the knees down, I'm gonna lower the chest down and then press up. The deeper you go for that push-up, the more challenging it is. So if you need to, you can definitely make it more shallow. Ready? Let's begin. Inhale, exhale, press. Whoo, those tries are definitely warmed and working already from that last move. So this is giving him that extra, extra kick. If you ever need to, you can always sink back to like a quick child's pose, stretch it out, and then go back into it. It's up to you. Down and lift. Woo, you're doing amazing. I know this is probably our hardest back-to-back -back combo for today, but you've got this. You're strong. Breathe. Woo, oh my goodness. Three, two, one, and stop. Very nice. Keep one weight down, one in the hand. I'm gonna angle so you can see. We're doing a single arm concentration curl. 
take that weight in your hand, elbow to inner thigh, this hand wherever you like, curl up and down. If you ever need to assist yourself, place your fingertips behind your wrist and help yourself curl it up. Ready? Let's go. Lift and then lower. Squeezing the peak of your biceps on top, making sure to get that nice full range of motion on the extension. So if you're looking for that assist, I just take two fingers, I kind of help lift up a little bit, and then I remove it. Good. Can you keep the same pace coming up and down? So if you think your mind up for two, down for two. Good, slow and controlled. Wrist is curled in. Woo! Yes. You're doing great. Last five seconds, Maybe one or two more in. And stop, switch sides. Other knee out. Taking this elbow to, um, to your inner thighs. Remember, full range of motion, up and down. Just like before, you can take your two or three fingers, assist yourself, and if you ever need to, you can always drop in white as well. So just keep it challenging, keep it moving. All right, let's get in position and begin. It's always interesting when you do single arm movements like this. You definitely find out which side is your stronger side and which one can use a little bit more um, strength. <laughs> For me, this is my, I'll say weaker side, but not a strong side, my left side. Also my non-dominant side. But it's good to do things like this and be mindful. Exhale, inhale. Woo. 15 seconds. And then we get that, gonna get that break before we hit the second round. Very nice. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Set it down. Good job. Grab a drink and I'll meet you back here for round number two. Welcome back. Grab your weights and let's get ready for those chest flies with narrow grip presses. Remember, second round is only 30 seconds on with a 15 second rest in between. So for this move, we have our palms in, open up for the fly, and then elbows tight, drive down for the press, straight up to that ceiling. All right, take a breath in and out. Get ready, extend those arms, and let's start. Inhale, exhale, narrow, and press. Keeping the core strong. Remember your um, balance challenge, if you like an extra core, bring those legs up to tabletop position. Staying stabilized. I think I'm gonna do the rest of the time in this position, but it's up to you. All right, so as you recall, our second exercise is gonna be tricep push-ups. It is definitely a kicker, but good news is it's shorter time. Three, two, one, and stop. 15 second transition, carefully come up. All right, check out those arms. <laughs> you know what's coming now. All right, staying on those knees, breaks if you need to. In three, two, one, let's do it. Inhale, exhale, press up. Keep that back nice and flat, core is engaged, chest towards the ground, fully extend up, not locking the elbows. I know, it's so much to think about, but <laughs> once you start good habits, usually don't forget them. Take those breaks if you need to, or shorten the range of motion. Woo! Three, two, and stop. Bring it up, give yourself a quick stretch. Single arm concentration curls are coming your way. You only need one. Go into that kneeling position, grab the weight, elbow to inner thigh, and let's go. Curl and lower. This should actually feel pretty good after doing those um, triceps moves. So now we're kind of stretching those out and really focusing on those buys. Squeeze on top, remember same pace coming up, same pace going down, up two, down two. Nice and smooth. Ooh, we have about seven seconds. Couple more in. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Other side, other knee up. All right, guys, this is it. Last upper body movement. Make it count. Elbow to inner thigh. Ready, set, let's do it. Finishing strong with those arms. And then we have that fun core section coming up. Whew. 
Exhale, inhale, yes. 20 seconds, let's go. Strong to the very end. Keep getting that full range of motion with the arm curl. Nice. Last six. Three, two, one, and stop. Nice work. Grab a drink, you can put your waist to the side, and I'll meet you on the floor for some core. Let's finish this workout with a quick core session. We're gonna do six different exercises for 30 seconds on and about a 15 second rest in between. Starting on your back, we're kicking it off with a set of dead bugs. Now for dead bugs, your legs are in tabletop position, arms extended, head can be up or down. We're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg, meet in the center, and then reach other way. If your head is down, it's the same body movement. All right, so remember when we're doing this, keep the core engaged and make sure there's no space in that lower back. Ready? Let's go. Lift up, center, and down. If your head is lifted, try to keep your neck and spine in a neutral position. Shoulder blades are just off the mat. And you're kind of looking right up at that ceiling. If your head is down, you're right here. Same thing, make sure that lower back does not arch. Inhale, exhale. Hips are steady and breathe. Good. Three, two, one, and stop. Hug those knees in. Our next move is gonna be a set of basic crunches. Feet are down, hands light behind the head. Exhale, lift up high enough to your shoulder blades are off the ground. And then we bring it back down, going nice and slow. Ready, set, let's go. Lift and down. Good. Breathe. Woo. Exhale up, inhale lower. Just like before, pull the belly button to spine. Be mindful of your breathing. In through the nose, exhale through your mouth when you lift up. Very important. Good. Keep it up, keep it up. We're staying on our back after this in three, two, one. You rest. Our next move is a set of slow bicycles. We're rotating over and down. If you need to modify this, keep the head down and just tuck the knees. All right, get ready. In three, two, one, let's go. Over, over, very nice. If you need a headrest in between, take it. You can take it here. If you can do these quicker, but keep in good form, go for that as well. Whew, halfway through, keep it up, keep it up. If you find your back arching, raise those legs a little higher. Excellent job. Right, one more movement on your back, and then we'll flip. Head down, relax. Last one here, hands underneath the hips. Bring those feet up like you're stopping up to the ceiling. We're gonna pop up and then down. Lift and lower. All right, so when you're ready, bring those feet up, place your hands underneath, and let's go. I always use the analogy like you're stomping those heels up to the ceiling, press up and lower. And with your hands here, that's gonna help prevent you from over rocking those hips or just kind of stop you, <sighs> lift and down. Whew. Keeping the core tight, lift and lower. Awesome. Keep it up, keep it up. Coming up, we are flipping it over into a plank position. Three, two, one. Good, hug it in, rock it on up, flip it over. All right, for our plank today, we're gonna be on our forearms. Elbows and toes, or elbows and knees, and we're just gonna hold for those 30 seconds. Ready, set, let's go. So engage the core, squeeze the glutes, pull those shoulder blades in your back pockets, and just breathe and hold. Same rules apply if you're here. Knees are down, toes are up. Choose what's best for you. It's easy to drop to the knees and modify. So if you can, try not to go all the way down in your tummy. Whew. You're doing great. We only have one more movement after this, and it's gonna be a bird dog for your lower back. Three, two, one. Bring it up to tabletop. I know, this is going so quick, but you're doing awesome. We're in the home stretch here. Opposite arm, opposite leg, similar to how we did our dead bugs, except we're in tabletop position. All right, let's do it. Hips and shoulders are steady. Exhale, keeping those fingers long like you're driving towards a wall in front of you. 
heels are pressing back towards that wall behind you. Breathe. Woo. Yes. You are doing amazing. Last few moments. Good job. Three, two, one. Hands down, knees down. And sink back for that child's pose. Nice work. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, let it out. One more time. Inhale, breathe. And let it out. Nice and slowly round back up to tabletop. You did amazing today. Let's give you a quick upper body stretch. Take one hand down, other arm threads underneath. Thread the needle, dropping the head and shoulder. This is a really great one for your lower back and your shoulders. Whew. Nice work today. Even though it's just an upper body routine mainly and core, it still works your whole body. <laughs> Good. And lift it up. Good, switch. Other arm underneath. And breathe. Very nice. When you're ready, carefully bring it up. You can go ahead into a seated position. Sit comfortably how you like. One arm across, one arm brings it in. Pulling on the arm, not the elbow. Stretching out the shoulders. Good. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale out. Let's go ahead and take that same arm overhead for the tricep stretch. Pulling on the arm, not the elbow. You're trying to touch the middle of your back. Good. And then when you're ready, shake it out. Switch sides, other arm across. If you need to take these stretches longer, go for it. This is your time, your workout. Make it what it is. Fantastic, and let's bring it up. Whew. And shake it out. One hand down, one arm up and over. Let's stretch out those sides. If you like a little bit deeper, turn a look at that ceiling. Center up, face me. Inhale, exhale, one of the arms. Other arm up, and option turn a look. Center this up, interlock the fingers behind, open up the chest and heart and give you a nice deep breath in. Exhale, let it out. Release, arms in front, round the upper back. Inhale, reach all the way up to the ceiling and let it all go. You're all done for today, great job. Great job on completing that workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. If you have any workout requests, please leave a comment in this video. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me, and I look forward to seeing you next time.